So these are my predictions for the LXLC2 exam 2015. First of all, um, I should tell you that I don't work for exam boards, I don't know anything, I don't know what's going to be in the exams. Um, I'm just a teacher, but I don't actually teach LXL, so I don't need this as well as I know the exam board that I do teach. These are just guesses um, based on what I've read, um, which is all really available on the internet. Um, so don't just revise what I say, use what I say as a basis, but revise everything else. So... The exam reports always say that students struggle writing common formula. This comes up a lot in the exams. So make sure you know the formulas of all the simple molecules. Make sure you know the formulas of the common acids, um, the carbonates, the sulfates. Make sure you're, you're really confident and happy turning a word equation into a symbol equation, turning a symbol equation into a word equation. This is going to be a good few marks. The examiners always say that students struggle with it, so it's the sort of thing that will come up over and over again. Another thing that the examiner says is always a problem is balancing these equations. So make sure you're really confident balancing the equations. Make sure you get a lot of practice about this because this is going to come up. There were lots of calculations in this unit. And again, it's something the examiners say they're going to struggle with. And if it's something the examiners think you're going to struggle with, it's the sort of thing they're going to put on the exam paper. So make sure you know how to do reacting masses. Make sure you know how to work out the mass um, of the compound. Empirical formula might come up, um, but percentage yields or something like that is probably going to come up. Now the tests for ions, they, these come up a lot and the students don't know them very well. So we're talking flame tests, we're talking tests for carbon dioxide and a few of the other ions that are in this unit. Experiments. There are loads and loads of experiments in this unit. Um, I'm sure you've done loads in class. Rates of reaction experiments. This is this is a big, big one. Make sure you can describe how to do that experiment. Make sure you know your variables. Make sure you know how to make it a fair test. Um, safety precautions you need to take. And again, fractional distillation. Probably one you haven't actually done, but you need to know how to do it. Collision theory, this is a big thing. Make sure you know your collision theory really well. Make sure you've got a solid basis behind what you write for that. Oh, this is such a massive, massive amount of information here. Make sure you can describe um, ions, how ions are formed. Make sure you can identify and draw ions. Atomic structure, this is definitely going to come up. Make sure you know your periodic table really well. Make sure you know... Um, uh, the structure of the atom, what's inside, what's outside. Make sure you know the masses and locations of the subatomic particles. Make sure you can draw atomic structure. Make sure you know your ion looking covalent bonding really, really well. The structures and properties of the ion looking covalent substances. Make sure you can draw these and make sure you can describe what goes on. Make sure you know um, which one loses electrons, which ones gains electrons, which ones share electrons. Uh, this is the, I'm, I can't say for definite, but I'm very sure this is going to come up in a big way. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.